Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools. And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the program guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey so you never miss out. Hi, my name is Anna Nikipirovic and I am a crochet and knitting designer, author and tutor. I am based in Watford in Hertfordshire and um, I have an incredible passion for crochet and knitting. I have, uh, I was taught to knit and crochet as a child by my incredibly talented mum. She had some amazing skills, honestly. But obviously as a child, you know, I didn't really care and without practice, I have to say, all my skills were very quickly forgotten. I picked up my crochet hook again and needles um, when my mum passed away 15 years ago. It was my way of feeling incredibly close to her and invoking all the special memory. And I have to say, a, a true and utter obsession was born. And then I realised, like, why haven't I been doing this for all those years? This is all Awesome. And a few years after that, when I have trained to teach, so I've been uh, incredibly lucky to teach knitting and crochet at all levels across the UK, at some fabulous shops, at some amazing shows. It's just so wonderful. It's such a gift to be able to share what you have learned or what you picked up over the years with others. And, you know, this wow moment when they get it, when they start crocheting and start knitting and really loving the craft and loving the craft the same way you do. It is truly, truly amazing. And I have to say, I am rather obsessed with crochet. I really am. But I love knitting as well, but I think crochet really is most of the time. I have been lucky enough to have a few books published by the wonderful people at Sage Press. And I just, I just do. I'm a rather obsessed with crochet and knitting and I love yarn. I adore it. My claim to fame is that I have been a contestant on the wreath making competition on Kirsty's Handmade Christmas, which was, I think, three years ago. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of fun. I hope you can join me. Have you heard about Yarn Lane, a TV show dedicated to knitting, crochet and all things yarn, bringing you demonstrations from our expert guests as well as the latest tools? And find out what's coming up on the show by following us on Facebook and Instagram. Subscribe to our email newsletter or visit the program guide on our website at www.yarnlane.com. Are you a fan of Sewing Street and Yarn Lane? Why not join our growing Facebook fans pages? Just search Sewing Street Fans and Yarn Lane TV Fans on Facebook and click Join Group. It's that simple. Never miss out on the latest news and updates from our presenters and guest designers, special offers and plenty of chat with your fellow fans. Share photos of your makes, ask for advice, interact with your favourite guests and presenters and be a part of the ever-growing sewing and yarn community. See you there! Miss the live show? Don't worry, we recorded it for you. Never miss out on your favourite presenters, guests and makes ever again. Head on over to our YouTube pages to watch back the day's live show and enjoy your favourite demos over and over again.
We also have lots of great content exclusive to our YouTube pages, such as product demonstrations, troubleshooting videos, and so much more. Subscribe and turn on the bell notification so you never miss a show or video ever again. We know that shopping online can be a confusing and sometimes daunting task, and sometimes all you want to do is talk to a human being. Well, our family-run customer service team are on call 24-7. They're full of friendly, warm-hearted individuals, all trained to make your shopping experience as easy and as enjoyable as possible. And not only will they take your order, they will also help and guide you on your shopping journey, so you never miss out. Keep up to date with what's on Sewing Street and Yarn Lane, as well as all the latest news and special offers by signing up to our email newsletters. For Sewing Street, head on over to www.sewingstreet.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, click the envelope and you're done. It's exactly the same for Yarn Lane. Head on over to www.yarnlane.com. Scroll down to the bottom of the homepage, type in your email address, Click the envelope and that's it. You are now subscribed to both Sewing Streets and Yarn Lane's email newsletters. So you'll never miss out on the latest news and special offers ever again. Good afternoon, welcome to Yarn Lane, the only shopping channel in the UK that is dedicated solely to yarn. And we've got some beautiful, beautiful pieces for you today. Um, now, everything is on pre-order on the website, uh, but I'm going to introduce it all now. I'm going to go through absolutely everything that we've got available, and uh, which means it will then move over to the show deals. So, I'm going to start with... Eve, which is this jumper here, which is the one behind me. This really, really beautiful jumper with the raglan sleeve with the kind of uh, lovely little uh, ladder work, or I don't know, lace work down the, the, the raglan sleeve there. Really, really beautiful. I've got it in, oh, sorry, go on. Yeah, each colorway comes in different, let me just turn that around for you. Each colorway comes in different sizes. Eve in gray, which is that one on the stand there. Yeah, which is this one here. Right, I've got small, medium here. Oh, my word. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen balls of the yarn. I'll talk about the yarn in a second. You get that. You get the pattern. Yeah, you get that. This is extra large I've got here. You get that and you get the pattern and you get the knitting needles. All of that in the kit there for $69.99. It's wool couture grey eve jumper in the large extra large so that one has well like i just said one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen balls of the yarn fourteen and you get the pattern and you get the knitting needles there it is so that comes in so i've got it in the large extra large in my bundle here it also comes in the other size range small medium and how many balls do i get in the small medium oh sorry they, they, i've got the extra large here it's exactly the same in the small medium but it, you get 12 balls in that one 12 balls I've, i'm doing it like this because otherwise i'd have had like 100 jumper packets on here so that's why i'm doing it like that so the extra large gets 15, uh, 14 balls this gets 12 balls right that's the small medium you still get the uh, instructions and you still get the knitting needles okay that's 64.99 then i've got eve in i've only got eve in two colorways right it's pistachio now oh this is lovely this is the large extra large again 14 balls plus your instructions plus your, oh, i'll show you the color rather than the pattern beautiful beautiful color there now i need to i'll tell you while the graphics are coming in the yarn is a lovely mix it's 28 percent cotton 28 percent polyester 28 20 percent acrylic 10 percent silk 
9% linen and 5% recycled fibres. They're all exactly the same. This one's $69.99. So that's the Eve in the large to extra large. Now, I'll tell you, I know what you're going to ask. What size is large to extra large? Yeah, yeah there's lots of details on the website. Here we go. UK dress size. So this is 14 to 16, yeah? So, okay. 54, width is 54.5 centimetres in a 14, and a 16 is 58.5. Full length of back, 70 centimetres. Um, okay. Is there another size then above that normally? I'll ask, we'll ask in a second, we'll ask, because my, my one in here goes up to a size 20, that's all. Uh, you also get a, 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 bod, a bodkin, a, a yarn lane with it as well. Beautiful. Got pistachio in small medium. Oh, sorry, I should have said what that was. Small medium. Which is your size 10 to 12, is it? Yeah, 49 and a half width is your size 10. 52 is your size 12. S 69 back length there. Again, full pattern, chain stitch, mattress stitch, everything you need to know. Lovely. So that's the pistachio in both sizes. Then we're going to move on to rosy now, which is striped. Yeah. Shall we show a picture of it, Emma, please? Oh, no, no. I've got it on a stand over there, haven't we? Right, I've got Ingrains Pistachio this time. Oh, these are lovely colours, aren't they? So one, two, three, four, five, six grey. Oh, that's the blue and wheat wheatgrass one coming up. This is the Grains Pistachio one. One, two, three, four, five, six grey and six of the pistachio. Plus your pattern. Plus your knitting needles. 64.99. Again, that's a size 10 to 12 again. 49 to 52 centimetres back, 60, 65 back, 65 shorter, that one. Okay, and then we've got that one uh, in the extra large, large, extra large. So, that's right, don't worry, the graphics are taking a while to get in today, don't worry. There you go, World Couture Grey Pistachio Rosie. That's exactly the same, the two gorgeous colours there, but you get how many balls do you get in the extra large then? Seven of each, you get seven of each in, that, in the extra large. 54 to 58 chest in centimetres width, that one, not wedge chest, width in that one. Okay, and then I've got that one in another colourway. Wheat and River, this one's called, which is the one on the stand that you just saw. There you go. Oh, there you go. <laughs> it's Gary as well. This is small, medium, so you get uh, one, two, six of each, six of each colour, plus your needles, plus your um, instructions. There it is hanging up. It's lovely, isn't it? Beautiful colours. Wheat and River, that is. That's the rosy jumper. And then I also have it in large, extra large. Which is coming up now. So that one you'll get seven balls of each. All of these are the same yarn that I mentioned, the mix yarn that I mentioned a minute ago. 69.99 for the large, extra large. Then we've got a jumper called Summer. I've got it in rhubarb. Oh, that's glorious, isn't it? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, hang on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Eleven. I've got eleven balls in this one. Yep, eleven balls in this one. So have we uh, that small medium with eleven balls in, fifty-nine ninety-nine. Lovely. I'll show you, they'll show you what it looks like on the pattern. Oh, hang on. Oh, I haven't got the small medium. Yeah, okay. So that's small medium. You, you get nine balls in the small medium. 
So I've got the large extra large here. But look, this is the pattern here. Oh, come on, John. There you go. Lovely. It's like a bar. Oh, now this one's really important because it looks like that on the front and it looks like that on the back, but you can wear it either way around. You see, so you're getting two looks in one for that one. Brilliant, isn't it? So that's the rhubarb in the small medium. I've now got rhubarb in the large, extra large here, which, of which you get 11 balls of the yarn. That's the one that's in now. There's 11 balls of the yarn there. One more colourway. Sorry, we'll get on with some knitting in a minute. Are you get your needles in all... Yeah, you get your needles in all of these, by the way. You do get your needles in all these. Then, some are in the blue that you've just seen on the um, wall there. Oh, that's a lovely colour, isn't it? Small, medium, you get... How many balls you get in small, medium? Nine balls. So this, that's, that's small, medium. What you get is small, medium there. And there it is, that's front and back. But you can wear, wear it either way around. You can wear it either way around you want to. And you can have this one in the large, extra large, of which you get 11 balls of the yarn, plus the instructions, plus your knitting needles, plus a, a um, I want to call it a bodkin, but it's not called a bodkin. Darning needle, darning needle, thank you, Carrie. Darning needle, 65.99, that one. Right, I've, I've got socks as well to show you. Do you want to do those now, Hannah? Just not so. Yeah, very quickly, run through them. So which colour first? Wheat first, which is this one. Oh, 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 oh these feel lovely. So in this one, you look, isn't that lovely there? So you get your unisex Aaron Slouchy sock pattern. You get... Very little knitting needles in that one. And then you get three balls of the yarn. Same yarn. They're lovely. Now, there's enough in here to make men's socks as well as ladies' socks. Rebecca Reed came in and told me especially yesterday they put enough yarn in them so you can make them for men and ladies. So they're wheat. That's the wheat one. I've got earth, which is this colourway. Oh, these are nice. Oh, they feel amazing. Earth's the most popular so far. Okay, there you go. $24.99. Oh, there you go. Oh, they're lovely, aren't they? And then, I've not got these ones made up, but I've got them in another colour as well. Heather. Is that right? Oh, yeah, yeah, that's right. That's right. This is the colour of these. Isn't that lovely? You will see this being knitted up in a, in, during the show. $24.99. You get more than one board. You get three balls, plus your instructions, plus hundreds of knitting needles, it seems. Beautiful. Now, I'm sorry that took so long. Carrie Gardner, welcome back. How are you? Thank you. I'm really good, John. Are you all right? Yeah, I'm good, thank you. You've got an awful lot of knitting to do in this hour. A you? marathon. So going are great. we going to start? We're obviously not going to knit each other. We're going to do a bit of each, aren't mm -hmm. we? Yeah. So shall we start off with the... Rosie. Rosie, yeah, Let's Rosie that's behind Rosie. me. Yeah, absolutely. So all three of the sweaters are, as you said, knitted in this beautiful Aran. Um, and it is so light. You know, when people mm. think of Aran, they might think it's a bit heavy. Well, yeah, Aran jumpers when I was a child were the ones we got yeah. at Christmas. And they were like yeah. itchy and <laughs> heavy. It, and yeah, big. exactly. All of those things with traditional Aran. However, as you've said, this isn't a traditional Aran. You've got these beautiful, um, you know, different textures in here, making up this gorgeous light fibre that you've can work with it's really super soft but it does also what I love about it is it's got the flex in it like a traditional Aran yes, yeah. except you're knitting with something that is gloriously soft and you know could because of the cotton content and the linen and the silk you could wear this you know all the way through the year you yes. know layer it yeah, up they're, in, not, they're not heavy not at, at all, all. They? layer it up in the uh, winter we may not even need to layer it up in the winter, but in the summer, I can imagine this as being something you would throw on with some jeans or something, yeah. or you know, take to the take to the coast with you when it yes, gets a bit chillier, yes. or on yeah. holiday in the evenings where it gets a bit chillier. So yeah, this is Rosie. This is the beautiful wheat and river 
colour, this lovely blue, and we do have it in, um, it's in the pistachio, isn't it? Pistachio and grey yes, also. Yeah, so I'm going to, I'm going to show you um, a sample that I'm knitting up in the pistachio and the grey. Few little features that I want to just talk about very briefly. If I just move them over yeah, a little yeah, bit, yeah. there we go. So as you said, you've got this lovely raglan sleeve here, yeah. this shaping here, and it does look a bit like lace, doesn't it? This yeah. thing here, but it's just created by your um, decrease, or sorry, your increasing, because you're knitting neck down, which is relatively unusual actually for knitting patterns. Mostly, you would start at the hem and work your way up. Yeah. But with this, to get this lovely feature here, we're knitting from the neck down. And we're going to have these look this lovely um, increase that creates this hole, which is often what new knitters do by mistake, yeah. <laughs> creating a hole. But we're going to do it on purpose okay. to create this lovely shape. You've also got these kind of bell sleeves here, you know, really, really flattering shape, I would say, uh -huh. that's just finished off with some garter stitch. So super simple in that you are doing stocking stitch, changing your colours, and then you've got the garter stitch hems. And then we're picking up the neck at the end and doing a little bit of rib up there. So super simple in terms of the actual stitches that you're using, but the techniques are just lovely. So I'm going to show you here what it looks like, what the two colours look like. Uh -huh. So are they, are they the needles that, because our needles are all wrapped yeah. up, are they the needles they're They're gorgeous get? needles, they're bamboo, yeah. they all say wall couture, and what I love about them too is that each needle tells you the size. So it's not just one needle. Sometimes with bamboo needles, they just put the size on one of them and expect you to keep and then the pair together. The I know, you've got keep to go, the pair yeah. together. So it's got walkature, it's got the size on both the needles, and they are lovely and light and just work so well with this yarn. You know, there's no slipping because you've got the texture of the yarn Can keeping I ask on your why needles. Why they've done such a mix? What, 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 is it for a reason they've done a mixture of all those wonderful? Because it's even got upcycling, recycling, yeah, in it, recycled hasn't it, fibers. Yeah, um, it's because it's it's you know wanting to to knit in a traditional way, but bringing it to a modern yeah, you know yeah, modern yes. audience. And like you were saying, you know, Aaron can be. It's either going to be really heavily wool content yeah. and wonderful, yeah. but not everybody can wear it, and also quite heavy or really, you know, full of acrylic. And so actually, can I wash it? Yeah, you can. Oh, yeah, brilliant. Yeah, yeah. If you have a look at the, the band here, all your instructions, you've got all of the, um, all of the ingredient, ingredients. Yeah, no, that's, that's exactly <laughs> what it is. It feels like, like that, doesn't yeah. it? All, all of the, um, all of the fibres are in there. And you've got your washing instructions oh, too. Fantastic. So you can, I mean, it says, um, it says hand wash. I would say that's hand wash on 30, but I've knitted with this and I've knitted a garment. Does it have a little hand in it? It doesn't have a hand. Oh, so that doesn't mean washing machine, yeah, yeah, doesn't yeah. it? I was going to say, because I... I put it on your wool. Delicate wool wash. Yeah, I that's I what I've done. We have, in this day and age, we don't have time. I know. And, you know, kind of, it's... We're all in the same boat. I yeah. don't have time to do that lovely hand washing with wool light and then put it flat on the yeah. towel. And do, <laughs> we need to be able to move and go. And this yeah. is brilliant. If, yeah. you can. Uh, if, if there's not a hand in it, then it's machine wash. You're right. Uh, and I was going to say, I have put it in the machine yeah. and it's been fine. Yeah. Um, and you can iron it too with a cool oh, wow. iron. So, you know, not that you probably need to, no, 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 to no. be honest with you. Um, so that's... It's just a great... It's just a great wool to work with. You've got the traditional look with the flex but it's really light. And but it feels making... like, it does feel like a modern day yeah. fabric almost once it's knitted up. It's really up, luxurious, it? Yes, isn't it? it? Really. Yeah. And that's the silk and the linen making that lovely, that lovely feel. Because again, with traditional Aran, it can have quite a heavy twist to it mm -hmm. when it's spun. Whereas this, yes, it's spun beautifully and it's not going to come apart, but it's, it's really light mm, as well. You don't yeah, feel like you're wearing exactly. anything okay, too so heavy. Okay, so then we've started, uh, so, uh, sorry, we've talked about the needles. Mm. And they've got the size on there from bamboo and you get them in your kit anyway, so you don't need to worry about that. So, where do so we So here we go. I'm just, um, I wanted to show you what it looked like with the grey and the pistachio. I think pistachio, it's a real toss up for me which one is my favourite in yeah. terms of pistachio or heather I think are my faves. Although, I love the rhubarb too which is the pink. Yeah. So what I wanted to show you, we've, we've, um, we've started at the neck and we're knitting down and so we're coming to the hem and as usual, as you can expect with wool couture patterns, they are beautifully written uh -huh. and you do not get lost at all. So you so, start at the top and work downwards. Mm. I always thought with knitting you start at the hem and worked upwards. Well you do on Oh, summer. okay. So you summer different. Summer. I didn't know that. Yeah. Come across no, that it yet. entirely depends. And the reason for this is that you get that lovely shaping. So we get the shaping around the um, the raglan, and then we get the shaping at the bottom because okay. what we've got is a split hem at the bottom there, oh, which is super flattering yeah. as well. You've got the split hem slightly longer at the back. 
So nice. what I'm knitting here now, I've started, so if you can imagine, this is coming, I'm coming down here. This is, this is where the neck would be up yeah, here. Yeah. I'm coming down. And I just wanted to show you this, um, how we're doing the hem, because it's nothing, we're not knitting anything separately. We're not, um, we're not adding stitches or picking up stitches once we've finished. We are adding this hem in. Right. So I'm going to start with this gorgeous pistachio here. I can tell I'm going to clunk and click on the That's table with I these needles. Mind. So what we are doing is purling with our first, oh, I'm keeping in my stitch and um, keeping in my stripe pattern and I am purling. I'm using that trick that I showed you last time where I'm taking the tail and the working yarn yep. to join it in and then I get rid of the tail to the back there and I'm purling a couple of stitches just to give me that the um, side side hem. I don't know if you call a hem on the side. Anyway. No. Anyway, there we go. So I'm just starting with that colour. I've obviously done just a small sample for you here. You're yeah. going to be knitting across the back, all the way across the back. And it's it's a lovely pattern in that the back and the front are the same, except your back, as I said, is longer. So you're doing some extra rows on the back um, with the little garter stitch. So do you knit it as in you knit a front, you knit a back, and you knit two sleeves, and yeah. then you sew them all together? You do, yeah. Okay. Yeah. As, as ever, my advice would be start with a sleeve yeah. because then you can check your, um, check your tension on the smallest part and, if, and if, it's, if it's good, you can keep knitting. Yeah. If it's a little bit wrong, you haven't knitted so much, you haven't wasted your time mm -hmm. knitting a tension square, which is what most knitters do not like to do. No. So I always say knit the smallest part, which is your sleeve. And check your tension. So have we purled there. all the way across that row? I've knitted, so I've purled oh. the first couple of stitches and I've purled the last few stitches okay. and I've knit in between and that gives us this lovely oh, yes. texture here and that's the side, it's a seam really isn't it? Yeah. So I'm going to, when I sew it together it's going to be sewn to the seam to this point right. and then this is open with the split seam right. down the side which as I say really flattering, really nice to wear. I have to say I have tried on all of these of and just love them. Not sure entirely which is my favourite. They've all got a little feature on them uh -huh. and which just makes them really unusual. So they're lovely and simple to knit. You're just using normal knitting stitches that um, they're not hard. I'm going to show you on, um, when we come to Eve, I'm going to show you how we create the, um, the holes, the, you know, the, the raglan sleeve yes. pattern. Yeah. Um, which is just a yarn round a needle. It's not a yarn over. What's the difference between Eve and Rosie then? Oh, the I can see so the sleeves. No stripes. Yeah. Sleeves are slightly <laughs> really? shorter. No, I know, so, I know. Yeah. Sleeves are slightly shorter. Yeah. But also the raglan sleeve is on Eve. You sew it on. Uh, it's, you sew it inside out. So, oh, okay. so you're, you've got a raw. It's almost like you've got oh, a raw yes, yes, edge. Yes. Yeah. On the raglan, there's a feature yeah. which is really lovely there, um, and it's a bit shorter in the body as yeah. well. I would say perhaps Rosie is that lovely casual thing that you could take take with you on the beach, yeah. maybe and throw on. Eve, perhaps you know you could make you could dress Eve up a little bit. Yeah, yeah. Um, so there we go. Oh, sorry, I, I went over to purling and I didn't mean to. So I've knitted all, uh, sorry, purled all the way back. Okay. And I've come to the stitch where I've added my new yarn and which looks like two, but it's not. And there we go, I can tighten that up. Now, what I'm not doing on this one, I'm not carrying the yarn up right. um, the side. So you okay. will have, yeah, I mean, you can do, but I'm not going to no. because I feel like it, I feel like it bulks out, especially on a stripe, which is, a, you know, it's roughly six uh, rows long. On a stripe that long, it's actually going to bulk out your seam. Yes, yes, And yeah. then it won't be so flattering no. when you, when you no. sew it together. So there we go, back to the, um, back to the, the knitting row but with these lovely seams on the side so I'm going to purl a few stitches and then just go back to the So knitting. once you've done that whole length of it mm -hmm. then you're going to be then just doing the hem all the way around the bottom. Yeah which is garter stitch which yeah. is knitting every row. Yeah. Um, so just changing, having to keep in your stripe pattern yes. um, is the only slightly, well the thing that you just need to be aware of, it's not tricky at all um, just make sure that you're counting. It's all, all your stripes are the same width, same amount of rows, and you're just counting 
um, and making sure you're either stocking stitch and when you're at your hem you're doing your, your pearl edges and then your um, you're swapping to garter stitch. Okay. So I would say that these, all of these patterns, you know, if you haven't knitted um, a, a garment for a long time or you haven't knitted a garment before, you could totally do these. Mm -hmm. You could absolutely follow these. And as I say, with every wool couture pattern, they're written so well, mm. it's written so nicely, very friendly terms. And, um, and they've, they've got the space for them as well. It's not like they've tried to cram them all onto two pages. Yes, exactly. Yeah. They've given you the space there. So that, that, I love this combo, the gray and the green. I really love it. It does remind me a little bit of a school sweater. However, I don't think that's a bad thing. Oh no, I, I love don't, that. I, that's the last thing no, I thought. I totally. love that, I absolutely love it. So that's, um, you know, and as I say, wearing it all year round with these colours, they're just great and we'll go they? with anything. I've got a question for you from, from mm. Suzanne about uh, the rosy. Mm -hmm. And it says, afternoon to you both, look, uh, lovely looking design. Can you tell me if the rosy goes straight down the body or does it flare out? Mm, it, it does flare out a little bit. But it's, it's just to fit, it, just to give you that fit around, the, yes. because it's longer, yeah. it needs to flare a tiny bit. But it's not like, a, it's not like the sleeves. The, the sleeves are bell, yeah. but the, the, the bottom of, of Rosie is not. It's just got some lovely shaping and the split hem as well. If I turn there, you can see that's, oh, I've got it on backwards. Oh. Okay, yeah, you can see, there you go, there you there go. There we go. Oh. She's on backwards, but you can oh, see. Oh, so is that the front? Yeah, yeah, I see. So the front's the shorter there. bit. Um, so shorter and slightly longer okay. at the back there, yeah. There you go. So with the lovely, I just, this it's so simply done. So simply done. But, you know, you're not going to find, that's, it's not just your traditional sweater, is it? Yeah, it's, no, it's not something at all. that's Makes really lovely, designer. yeah. Um, really who was lovely. asked about the sizes, sorry? Veronica, Veronica, if you go to the website and you look at the details, it has all the sizing in there for you. It has uh, all the sizing inside there. Right, so shall we move on to... Eve, Eve, Eve your friend over so there. I've got yep. Eve in two different colorways. Mm -hmm. I've got it in the gray that's behind me, and I also have it in the pistachio. Mm -hmm. um, I'll let Hannah do the graphics while we're going through the thing. Mm -hmm. What are you going to show us on this one? I'm going to show you the um, the yarn around the needle, which is how we're creating those holes, Perfect. that feature yep. that's on both Eve and Rosie. Yes, um, and it's super simple. You will have. People accidentally do a yarn over. When they're learning to knit, they do a yarn over, but that's also how we create buttonholes. Mm -hmm. But yarn around the needle creates more of a more Bigger defined hole. hole. Oh, defined yeah, it's, more, it's a more defined hole. Yeah. So I've got it in both colours, and I'm going to show you in both colours. So this would be, so we're knitting top down, we're knitting from the neck down. Right. So it's going to curl slightly there until right. you've got your um, your neckline on, which is picking up stitches, but because you're doing it from the cast on edge, really simple to pick up the stitches along mm -hmm. the top there because they're nicely um, they're nicely defined and, and you can see them. And, and the instructions are to just you know, it doesn't say it, um, you know you're not trying to squeeze um, stitches in. You're picking up one from every. Um, stitch that you have Brilliant. cast on at the top there, so really simple. And then do you just are you just casting on more stitches on each row? Yeah, that's what we're creating with the yarn around the needle. We're creating an extra stitch, mm -hmm. um, and we're creating this lovely hole here right. as well. So I am going to show you how I'm going to do this. So we've got the border just like before. We're doing we're slightly combining our knitting and our um, and knit stitches and our purl stitches to create a border yeah. and also create these holes. So I'm going to knit three stitches and there we go, that's creating that border and then I'm going to come back on myself with a pearl. Right, so now you've knit knitted three on this bit yeah, and then Yeah, I'm going to come back three. to the pearl and then our next row is when we're going to do a yarn around the needle. Okay, so you're purling yep. all the way down purling to all the... the way down to the end. Which but is you stop before the end because you've got the same indeed. knitting on the other end, yeah. three stitched on the other yeah. end. And with Eve, as I said, the um, the raglan sleeve, just the sleeve part, you are sewing kind of the wrong way. You're going to have your seam on the outside, but right. just for the part that's around the um, around the sleeve. And then you turn it back the other way and you, you would seam it as you with mattress stitch as yeah. you would do normally. So your seams are on the inside, but it gives you that lovely definition. And in the pattern shows you how to do a, a really nice stitch. 
so that you can um, make the most of those edges. They're not going to look like raw edges, but you're just um, you're sewing them up in a certain way. And it's, not, it's not tricky. I will show you in a moment on the mm -hmm. pattern. So here we are, I've come to nearly the end. I'm going to get to those last three and I'm going to knit them. And then our next row is when we're going to do the yarn around the needle. Right. So here we go. And it tells you that this is your increase row. So very right. helpful, very nicely written. One, two. So they're knit, three knits. Three, three knit stitches. And I want to get back, I want to get my yarn back over here because I need to carry on knitting, but we're going to do our increase. And the way that we're going to do that is we're going to bring, oops, sorry, we're going to bring it all the way around the needle, yarn around the needle. Right. So that we've created kind of a fourth stitch there. Like a pretend, excuse me, a pretend stitch. A pretend yeah. stitch. And when we come back to it, I'm going to show you when we come. Is that it? That's it. I know. Oh. Except when we come back on our next row, it's really important that you knit into the back of the stitch. Oh, okay. So, so there's that, a bit more to it. Yes, yeah, so that so when we come back on ourselves, we're going to knit into the back of that stitch and that will give us that lovely defined hole. So when you get to the bit at the end where you have to do that again mm -hmm. at this end now, yeah. don't you? Yeah. So I'm just whizzing through. Yeah, you certainly are. <laughs> to get to the other end. And we would do the border again. But yeah, if you didn't, if you came back on yourself, so when we do the next row, you'll see if we didn't knit into the back of the stitch, it would close it, it would close up that oh, hole. Okay. A little you would still have a little bit of a hole, but it would yeah, look like you've made the, a mistake rather than there. making it. Yeah, which is exactly you you know, you're absolutely right there. It's exactly what you do with lace knitting. All of it, oh, is, is, it? yeah, all of it is yarn overs and um, yarn forwards. And that's all you yeah, oh. that's that's what you're doing. I think I've only done holy crochet so far on here. Not holy. Holy I mean, crochet holy with crochet. holes in it here. I've done knitting with holes in it here. There we go. So and then I'm knitting the last three. So I've done my yarn round the needle, okay. last three. Now I'm coming back on myself. Yeah. The instructions are to knit those three again. So yeah. we've got our border. And then we'll come to our yarn around the needle. This is the first what knitting pattern I've actually understood. Oh, okay. So this, yeah, is, come. this is really good. Now, this, I don't know what this bit is. Though, so go on. <laughs> okay, so we're so now at the I've, yarn we're around. We're at the yarn we? around the needle. Yeah. So you can see it looks a bit strange. Yeah. And you might be, and if it was a if it was an, a normal stitch, we would knit in here. We'd put our our needle into the front, and as you can see, it doesn't really want to be no. knitted. It's quite hard. So go the easy route. Knit into the back of it. Right. And create that lovely hole. Oh. That's it. And then we bring our needle, our yarn to the front because we're going to purl the rest until we get to the other edge mm. and do exactly the same. So do you see what I mean? It's really, really simple. Yeah. And we're, we're creating something very beautiful. And, the, and I think as well that because your yarn is so luxurious, it's yes, kind of yeah. doing the work for you in terms of it being a gorgeous garment that you're going to want to wear again and again. I'm always worried, and I think it's because my nan tried to teach me how to knit, you know, yeah. 60 years ago or whatever. But when you put your needle through, the wool used to split, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. you, it didn't go through cleanly, all the, the, the fibres of the wool, and you'd end up going like almost through the actual... Mm -hmm yarn itself but yeah. this one it looks it's such a clear it's got yeah it's got a really nice you know defined, exactly where you've got to go yeah. yeah it's got a really nice defined twist to it yeah and um, when it's been spun um that's something i'm a huge fan of you know that the, the way that the way that a, a, a yarn is spun just can make or break it you know you could put all of these fibers together spin it the wrong way oh, and have something I'm... that's either too you know too loose and so your, your needle is going through and then when you wash it it's not going to hold yeah. its shape or too tight and you're basically knitting with string yeah so which is not pleasant at all so here we go i've come yeah. to that um yarn around the needle and yeah. i'm going to knit into the back of it there and then we're going to take the yarn, yarn to the back that, yeah. and knit those three there we go and that is that so there it is in the gray and as i said you're doing top down and once you've knitted all of your pieces that's when you'll come to pick up um, from your cast on edge which I always find picking up on a cast on edge I always find a bit simpler than picking up on a okay. cast off because sometimes your cast off edge can be a little bit tighter where you've where you've you know mm -hmm. cast off um, just that movement of the casting off can be a bit tighter 
um, than the cast iron. So that's the, that's the grey. So you've knitted, you've knitted the front, the back, two sleeves, sewn mm -hmm. together, but you don't do the neck until the whole thing's sewn together. Until the, well, and you don't even sew the whole thing together first. Oh, okay. What we need to do, what we'll do is um, pick up all the stitches around each part. Oh, okay, okay. Knit this. I mean, you could do if you wanted to. No, no, I'm thinking could. of as a dressmaker. What mm. you do is you put the raglan sleeves yeah, in, I then guess. you do the neck facing. Sure. But you can get all four pieces in a row. So yeah. sleeve. Sleeve, a front. A sleeve, sleeve a and back. a back. Yeah. Pick up all the top stitches yeah. and then knit your however many rows yeah. of your neckline and then they're all together. And then you can sew it together. Yes, yeah. exactly. And then you would sew up the seam on your um, your neckband yeah. as well. So that's it in the grey. That's Eve in the grey. Yeah. And then I've had to use my, I mean, these lovely bamboos. These are my just my needles from home. Okay. I just wanted to show you what it looks like in the pistachio. So this would be, I've started on a sleeve here. So you can tell immediately this this is not just a sample so this is this is a sleeve that I've started on. Right. So I could quite easily keep going and then do my tension square from here. Yeah. So that's exactly the same and your um where are I just going to move over I haven't been able to memorize them all obviously. Um so there we are there's the the lovely ragland shaping uh -huh. again and in the large to extra large, in the pistachio, in this design, there's less than 10 left. So just I think this care. would be probably one of the ones I would go yeah. for. I do, I love, I do so love I like the stripes. I like the stripes. I like the shape of that yes. stripey one, but yeah. it's more casual, as you say. This one's a bit more yeah. fitted with yeah. your nice black pants and things yeah, like that. Yeah, exactly, lovely, yeah. yeah. So um, this row that I've come to, I've already, on my last row, I have done the yarn around yeah. the needle. So just to, just to really, you know, reiterate, please do make sure that you are knitting through the back of that yarn around the needle otherwise you will not get the beautiful defined and is that holes. explained all in the instructions it absolutely is you've got you've got lots of abbreviations um, that are explained to you at the very beginning because there's yarn forward which is not the same as yarn round right yarn forward is um i'm trying to think of the abbreviation yf might be yf WD and then your yarn around the needle is YRN. Right. So it's all just take a moment. But if you're if you're first doing it first time, what I would do mm -hmm. is I would take the pattern, not, not start the knitting, and actually write it in longhand. Okay. So I'd have to because because I'd be yeah. new to it and everything, I'd yeah. have to go knit three, which obviously you can do, and then you go. I would then write in full, mm. and then once you're used to it, you, yeah, you don't have to really think about advice. it. Yeah, that's really good advice. Yeah, really good advice. So there we go. I've come back to it there. I'm going to into the back of it, take the yarn to the back and knit those three Brilliant. there. So yep, pistachio I think, oh, just a gorgeous colour, gorgeous colour all year round but what's great about this green, it's not it's not particularly wintry, No. so it's, it's you could absolutely wear this in the spring and summer. Well it's because it's not a solid colour isn't it, it's no, all fleckled. With the flecks, yeah. yeah those lovely flecks and something to say about the yarn and because of the way it's made up very occasionally you might find you might think what is this little bit of thread that's coming off my yarn it's not it's just the recycled fibers and the, right. and the um, linen and things it's, you can just knit into it or if you don't want it just put it out but um, but it just makes up this gorgeous brilliant oh, yeah. I just can't stop oh, okay let's it. move on to summer now then this is Gorgeous. So now I've got summer in two colours. Right, let's just bring it forward, Jess, because yeah. this you can wear either way you round. Can. You? you can. You can wear this either way round. That summer in rib river that we've got there. Now. Yeah, this is river in the blue. So you've got this false button band, which oh, runs. Oh, it's a fold. It's not. It's not an no, opening. One. It's it opens false. up at the top. Yeah. Here we've just got. Uh, is it two or three? I can't. No, it's only two buttons. Two buttonholes and two buttons that are actually working and the rest you just space out oh, wow. so it's got this lovely false button band yeah. it's really effective isn't it because yeah, it does no, look totally. it does look like it's it because of the way you've got the um seam there it does look like it's a yeah. it's real um but great for being able to wear it back to front because exactly. you wouldn't necessarily you know you'd gape otherwise well yeah and also if you spill your dinner down your front like certain people do in this building <laughs> uh, and then you could just turn it around can't I you? love that idea that's totally me <laughs> okay so, we, uh, so, so um, we've got it in river and we've got it in 
this beautiful, what do we call it? Rhubarb, rhubarb, yeah. Rhubarb mm. as well. So what are you going to show us on this one? Then? Hannah will put the different graphics through of the different sizes. Yeah. Keep an eye on those and the different colours. So on this one, I'll, just, I'll talk about just the design for the moment. Yes, please, there yeah, we yeah. go. So we've got this lovely basket weave um, stitch, um, which is, it's like an offset um, rib, really. So you've got your rib at the top here. Yeah. Here which gives a lovely flattering shape around the neck and the decolletage there, just gorgeous. And then you've got this basket weave, which is, as I say, it's, it's a four, I think it's four, four row pattern repeat of an offset right. um, rib is all it is. This is just knitting and purling, knitting and purling all the way along, but we're doing it for a few rows and then we're swapping. So our pearls are on top of our knit stitches. Right, okay. Yeah. It just looks like the, the ribbing from the top then shatters yeah. and then comes back exactly. together again for the This hem. one is, um, summer is knitted from the hem. It's a, more of a traditional knit oh, okay, in and it's okay. knitted hem up. Yeah. Um, and then you've got the, the rib on the sleeves. And as now, I say, if you know your technique of doing the tension mm -hmm. on the sleeve. You're mm -hmm. going to have to do the, the you're going to have to do the rib first because you don't you, you don't count the rib as your tension. No, you? I, and it will tell you your pattern will tell you what to take your tension from, what stitch to take your tension oh, okay, from. Okay. So if we have a quick look on this one, tension is telling us um, that we're doing it over stocking stitch. Yeah. To give us the um, tension, so you could absolutely. Do your rib and then carry on with with your knitting for your sleeve. And this, once That's you've got tension, to this bit, yeah. that would be your tension. Can also, I made the mistake as well. You get the buttons. You get the buttons you in do. it as well. I didn't even mention that. Yeah, coconut. Oh Co yeah, I was going to say they look like coconut buttons. And they're all different because they're coconut. They're all different. You haven't got any uniform. Oh, just, I, I love them. They're, they're so natural. And do you know what? They're, I think they really, they, they're so flattering on this yarn um, as well because you've got the recycled fibres, because you've got the linen and the cotton. It's lovely to think that you haven't got anything plastic there. No, you've got no, this exactly, lovely cotton. Exactly. Really, really nice. And it shows you in the pattern, obviously, as it would do, shows you how to space all of those out. You've got your button. You've only got two buttonholes that you're doing there, and so you can line those uh -huh. up as well. So, would you say this was slightly for somebody slightly more advanced than the two jumpers that we've shown? Maybe, maybe if you're, um, you know, if you if you just love the designer but you haven't knitted before, I would say go for it. Okay. Because okay. Um, if you start off on your sleeve, especially to do your tension square, you know, you've got a bit of rib and then your stocking stitch. There's, you can't go far wrong with that. Okay. And once you've got those two you should really know what a knit stitch and a purl stitch looks like. I know that sounds silly, but when you're first knitting, that's a super important thing to know what your knit stitch looks like, to know what your purl stitch looks like, because then you know when you're going wrong. Going wrong, yeah, exactly. Um, and also for a basket weave like this, uh -huh. really important because you know, ah, hang on, I haven't, I haven't got my knit stitch over my purl stitches, so I need to, I need to rib back and uh, and and go with go again. But um, okay. yeah, so I would say it's perhaps a bit more complicated. But, yeah, but still but the I same say, stitches. Yeah, still yeah. the same stitches. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just going to show you really, really quickly because I know we want to get onto those socks as well, yeah, and, don't and we? Yeah, and time is running away with us again. I know. How many minutes of demo have we got left, please, Emma? Our clock in here is not right, you see, so oh. ignore our clock. <laughs> Eight minutes on demo. Oh, okay. Well, do you know what then? I, I will not, um, I won't, I'm just going to show you this little demo okay. here. So we've got a little bit of rib. And um, and each of the so the next my I'm not going to show you because my next row would just be a knit and that's not terribly yeah. exciting. So I would knit along and then when I'm coming back on the next row, can you see I've got knit stitches here? Yeah. Pearl knit pearl knit. I would be purling over these two and right. then knitting over these two. Purling okay. knitting purling knitting purling knitting and just going like so that. So why is the one that we've just done all was about to do all knitting then? Like, so you go, you do ah, pearl knit, pearl knit, pearl because knit. Because it's in between. So you've got this lovely, can you see this ridge here that That's goes right, in between? Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, so we're at the that, point of that ridge. We're at the That's point a, of yeah. that ridge. So each one of those is a really good question. Thank you. Oh. It's, um, so in between your sets of offset Right, so we just happen to be, your next got, row just happens to be a row that's yeah, in between yeah, sets. Exactly. You don't do that every single time. No, so no. you do your knit, pearl, knit, pearl, knit, pearl, knit, pearl, turn around, knit, pearl, knit, pearl, knit, exactly. pearl, four rows yeah, or whatever yeah. it is. Mm -hmm. And then the, the fifth row going back 
is you're all knit. knitting. It kind of it kind of sets. It gives you that nice d definition. Yeah. That line that sets each row apart. Yes. Each well, it makes it look like the apart. basket weave, doesn't yeah, it? Brilliant. Exactly. Fantastic. Really beautiful. Really love that. So that's in river there, okay. and you've also got rhubarb. Which, yes, the rhubarb. Oh, so flattering. In that gorgeous, gorgeous pink. Okay, so I'm going to show you now the socks. Right. Okay. So have we've you got these socks in three before, different John? colours. Hannah will. Sorry. Oh, I was going to say, have you knitted socks before? <laughs> we've done. We've done socks before, but I've never. I, well, I've not seen socks like this before. They're gorgeous. Aren't they? Right. Oh, now that Heather's taken over in the lead, even oh. though we haven't got a sample, the you're going to sew gonna with show the Heather, you, though, yeah. aren't you? So, the, so it comes in three colours. I've got earth, I've got wheat, and I've got heather. This is your heather, right? And then we'll we'll carry on with this with the knitting because we haven't got many minutes mm -hmm. left. And then Hannah will put the graphics in as sure. all the different ones. Yeah. So right. this is heather. Why have we um, got about 10 knitting needles in there? Because wait, these are called DPNs or double pointed needles. Right. And that's what you need to be right. able to knit um, socks with because we're knitting in a circle. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, I mean, you can get some patterns that are knitted and then you have a seam, but it's not very comfortable no. to have a seam running down the bottom. So the, um, lots of people with knitting, uh, knitting socks think that we do wrap and turns. You can do a wrap and a turn, right. which is just a way of um, not knitting all of the stitches along here. Um, and creating the turning of the heel oh, okay. because yeah. when we turn the heel it's nothing to be scared of all we're doing is we're just working we're doing short row shaping right. so we are knitting central stitches more than we knit the side stitches and so that's what creates that turn okay yeah so I'm just going to show you how the other thing to say about this is I don't if you can you see the texture there mm. the difference I'm going to show you on the other side as well this texture here, this sort of, it looks a bit like a waffle kind yeah. of texture. This is created by slipping stitches. So this gives the heel a really lovely stretchy, but really durable feel to it. Um, and you, you know, you're not going to have any problem. You can actually wear these socks. Sometimes when people give you a lovely present of a knitted pair of socks, you think, oh, that's lovely, but I'm only going to be able to wear them around the house. Yes. I mean, you could, you could wear these out. They're gorgeous. Yeah. So I'm just going to show you one um, of the um, rows of uh, this lovely texture here. We are slipping the first stitch of every row because then it gives us this nice definition on this seam here so that right. because we will need to pick up these stitches later. Okay. So we need to do that to give us that definition. So we slip that one there and then we're knitting into the back of a stitch mm -hmm. and then we're slipping one purl wise knitting into the back of the stitch. This is giving us that gorgeous definition. And then we're slipping one purl wise, knit into the back, slip it purl wise, knit into the back, slip it purl wise. So that gives us, it's almost like a rib, but then with the waffle on the inside, yeah. that just creates really durable So you're slipping heel. every other stitch then? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Exactly. And then when you come back on yourself on the other side, which we won't need to do on this one, is when you would purl all those stitches. So those stitches are only being knitted right. every other time. And then we knit into the back and then we knit that last one. And now we are on to turning of the heel. Right. So I'm slipping the first stitch and I'm going to purl eight stitches. There are a few different ways of um, of decreasing stitches in this pattern. So like we said again, have a, take time to read through your abbreviations mm -hmm. and make sure that you are um, doing the right kind of decrease. So we're knitting eight, oh I've lost count completely because I'm yabbering away, two, mm -hmm. four, six, seven and eight. And then I'm purling two together. Okay. And then I'm gonna purl one and I'm going to turn, so I'm not going to go all the way to the end, so I've got some stitches left there, yeah. but I'm going to turn it. And then I'm going to come back. So I'm going, to, I'm going to pretend that I've got to the end of that row. I'm going to purl it, uh, right. sorry, slip it, and then, oh, make sure, sorry. We're on a knit row, carry. there we go. And we're going to knit three stitches, one, two, and three. And then we're going to do something called an SSK, which is a slip, slip and then we put the needle back in the, the um, le right hand sorry left hand needle back in to those stitches and then we knit it and the reason that we do that is that it gives us a nice because we we purl two together over here uh -huh. it creates the um, the whenever you do a decrease it creates a slant yeah and so this creates a nice 
um, symmetrical slant. Okay, so, so which bit on this sock are you am I doing here then? So, so if you come to the heel, yeah. that's it there. Can you see that is the very gotcha. pointy bit of the heel. That's where we're, tur we're turning the heel just that, there. Well, that bit there? Yes, no, the point, exactly where you've got your finger. Oh, there? That's where we're doing it. Oh, okay. We're turning that bit there. Okay. So if you turn that inside out, you'll be able to see that really nice texture that I was talking about on the heel. Oh, yes, yes, yeah. yes, 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 yes. See the waffle more texture there. there. You see that? There you go. And then you can see where we have continued on down to the toe. We've, cre we've knitted more stitches to turn the heel where you've got your uh, left hand. Yeah. That's it there. And then, um, and then we pick up some stitches on the side. Do you see that seam there? There. There. That's when we pick up some stitches and then we knit the rest of the sock. And the other, the great thing about this pattern is that it comes in three sizes. Yeah. Oh, okay. And you've got enough yarn to make the biggest size. Right. Um, very often when you knit socks, um, it, they say, uh, you know, one size fits all. Yeah. But I think well, it doesn't. I, does it, it doesn't though. <laughs> no, I think that's great. So I would definitely say, what a fantastic present. No, um, they I, love I think my husband, would, my husband would love these, yeah, for Christmas or something. He'd <laughs> oh, absolutely love them, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay, yeah, can they the brown ones? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, uh, they're, they're really, really lovely. But as I say, they come in the three different yeah. sizes, don't yeah. they? Yeah, so. and it's got, and it's really nice because if you have a look at the pattern, you've got the um, the dimensions of the sock and you've got, it, it's, um, so you can measure yourself and make sure it's not just one dimension or mm -hmm. shoe size it's actually got some measurements there oh, okay. so you can you can measure so if you need it um, wider can you add if, if you're in between si st mm. sizes i would go for the slightly bigger one okay okay brilliant. well it depends if you wanted to wear them out then perhaps go for the smaller one because they do they will stretch because the yarn is so lovely they will stretch but if it was something that you wanted to wear you know slouchy around the house well the way the picture the, taken they're yeah. really lovely slouchy yeah. socks go for the they? bigger size yeah. then yeah yeah. Brilliant, lovely. Um, is there anything else we need to say before I do my roundup? Um, it's entirely yeah, go, go very well, quickly. Have yeah, we go got time? Yeah, have go we got on. time? Because you were asking about the use of the, you know, oh, how yes, many, the needles many needles we're using. So I'm just wanted to show just with the wheat because that's one of the other colours that you can. Um, yeah, wheat. We've graphics. got this in. So I'm just if I just um, what I what I always do is I always cast on just to one needle. I mean, it depends how many stitches you've got. If you're only knitting socks, you're not going to cast on that many. Cast on on one needle and then divide your needle. But I would say um, my method is to cast on one extra stitch than I need because then we can divide them up onto three or four needles, whichever is your preference. So there we go. I'm going to, I'm going to have some of those on there. And then I'm going to use it, pick up another needle and put some on there. So if you cast on one extra stitch than you need, then you can join in the round by knitting your first stitch and your last stitch together. Right. Which is a, I see. a lovely yeah. little trick yeah. to be able to do. So when you start knitting, that's why we need all those needles because we've got. How brilliant. I know. And it, and are there six needles because you've got two socks going at the same time or something? You get five. Are oh, there five? Yeah, you get five needles. Well, you get five. You wouldn't knit them at the same time. No. You can knit. You can <laughs> knit socks at the same time, but you have to have circular needles, yeah. and you it get you can get in a bit of a pickle. Fantastic, so say, yeah. brilliant. That's absolutely brilliant. Thank you very much indeed. No now I've got time to round them all up, but if we just take you to the website where I can show you where everything is. If you've got any questions, please you can ring the call centre. It's a different number to Sewing Street, but if we just go to the website here, they're all on show deals now. Cl click on Watch Live, scroll down. There they are, everything is there in show deals. You need to read which colourway it is because each picture is obviously the same. So you just need to read which colourway it is that you want. So that everything is there on the website for you to pop in and get. The next yarn lane is Friday. And who is it on Friday? It's what? Oh, it's Native Light. you got Native Light on Friday. Oh, I say, very nice. Uh, no, I'm not in again now till Saturday, Sewing Street on Saturday, so I'll see you on Yarn Lane on Saturday uh, as well. So uh, take care of yourself, make sure you check out the baskets. Thank you very much indeed for Thank all you. your expertise, and I will see you at uh, Sewing Street on Saturday morning.